Good evening, boys and girls, and Merry Christmas. My name is Shea Bear. I am an honorary elf for this evening. Santa Claus has asked me to come here and read a book to you. So I told him, yes, I would love to do that. It's always an honor when Santa Claus asks if you will do something to help him out. And right now I'm very honored. Now he chose this book specifically for you guys. So this is one of my favorite books. And I remember when I was a kid, just like yourself, uh, my father reading this to me around the Christmas tree. And it was just a, a wonderful time of year. And, and it was just really fun. But it's called Twas the Night Before Christmas. So we're going to read this book together, you and I, because Santa Claus asked us to do that. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and let's get the book read. Twas the Night Before Christmas. "'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there." Yes, that is also another name that Santa Claus goes by, St. Nicholas, and also Kris Kringle. We children were nestled all snug in our beds while visions of sugar plums danced in our heads and mama and her kerchief and dad in his cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap when out on the lawn there rose such a clatter I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter Away to the window I flew like a flash to open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be St. Nick. That's who I think it was too. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. 
He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And good night to you too, boys and girls, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining me in reading the book, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Again, it's one of my favorites, and I hope it's your favorite too. I really enjoyed reading this for you, and I hope you enjoyed listening. Merry Christmas, everyone. Good night.